Champagne. The thing to champagne, the thing to champagne is that it's a confined area in France, legally defined. And only the grapes that are grown within this area can be used to make into champagne and legally called champagne. The method of production for champagne is called method traditionnelle. So what that means is that it's a secondary fermentation in the bottle. Initially, you take the grapes and typically you're talking about Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier, and there's four other legal varieties allowed that can be used. And you make a base wine. So you make a still flat um, white wine, typically around 11% alcohol. Then you put it into the bottle. You add a little bit of yeast, a little bit of sugar, all very um, defined in the amounts that you can add. And then there's a secondary bottle fermentation and all the CO2 is retained in the bottle. After a certain period of time, you then do what's called disgorge. Disgorge means you turn the bottle upside down and you collect the yeast and you remove it. And that's why champagne is always clear. You have non-vintage champagne and vintage champagne. Non-vintage champagne is what typically champagne's famous for. So what that means is it's a collection of years of base wine that's gone into that wine. You can have up to a maximum of 80% of any one year, but they've got reserve wine. So wine they've held back from other vintages that they blend in into the base wine to make it um, to make the base wine. The whole aim of non-vintage is to make a consistent house style. It's often referred, referred to as a Solera system. And that's because you want in consistency every year. Every time you bottle, buy a bottle of Pomeray, Pomeray or you buy Veuve Clicquot, it always tastes the same. And that's because the reserve wine that's been held back. Non-vintage means that it has to be aged on the dead yeast for 12 months. Then they disgorge it, but they cannot sell it until it's one and a half years after the secondary bottling. Vintage is where you have only one year. And in all honesty, if you're going to invest in champagne and buy champagne, you're probably best to go to vintage because it's taking the 20% of the best vineyards. So amazing value for money, actually, for vintage champagne. Only from one year, and they must age it on the lees, the dead yeast in the bottle for three years. Then they disgorge it and they can start selling it. So champagne it's traditional it's famous they're incredible at marketing and at the end of the day it's a pretty incredible product